Okay, so normals can have a profound impact on your model. This is essentially the same mesh, but with some of the normals flipped on Suzanne the monkey. Now let's hide the good one out the way. In fact, let's focus over here, press forward slash and go into local view. So we can see here, it's got kind of a grid effect and that's because we've turned on a modifier. So one thing to bear in mind when it comes to incorrect normals is it can affect modifiers. It will affect modeling your mesh. It will affect shading. There's so much that it affects, it's important to get it right. Now, one of the ones that I use all the time, it works in both object mode and edit mode, is if we go to our overlays option, if we come down to where it says face orientation, if we put a tick in that box, we can see there anything that's red has the normals facing away from us. In that, and in this particular case, that's wrong. We want all the normals facing outwards. And that's the first way that we can check our normals. Now, whilst they're still flipped like this, let's have a look at some of the others. I'm going to press tab and go into edit mode on our object. And you can see here the hairs have disappeared. That's one of the things that's affected. Let's have a look, scroll along the top here if you can't see it all. And we've got this new button at the top here next to the viewport overlays. We've got our mesh edit mode overlays. Now this used to be buried underneath one of these other drop downs, but it's here now. And we can turn on vertex, edge and face normals. And as you can see there, we've got a lot of needles poking out of our surface. And we can see if we declutter it for a moment, this is one of the modes that I don't use if it's too cluttered. We can see here that anywhere where we've got a blue surface, we've got a needle poking out. So if we flipped these other surfaces, let's just flip this one here real quick to demonstrate, you'll end up with the normal facing outwards. This is great if you're focused on a very small part of the model, but you can see it can get quite hairy if you will, if not. And you can adjust the size of these as well, but ultimately I find this not that useful unless I'm working on a simple model or trying to diagnose something. These big red areas are a lot more simple. And the final way that looks more like a game engine if you're working with game engines is to turn on back face culling. That you can see is incompatible with the viewport overlay when we go into face orientation because we can now see through our model. Now this is very, very useful because it allows you to see it really clearly. But again, if your model gets a bit complex, you won't be able to see it. So finally, let's clear up this. I'm going to select everything, Alt and N, and I'm just going to recalculate outside because this is a single mesh. You can see here that it's recalculated it really well. And if we turn on rendered, we're going to get a lovely hairy monkey. And that's it for this video. I hope you found this useful. If you want to find out more about correcting normals, not just Alt and N, check out this video right here.